All right, so uh, I have the new Final Cut Pro and uh, imported some clips here, just like family video things. And uh, I, I am impressed with this, uh, this um, display here. I think it does a really good job of showing off like what the camera is. Obviously, these are iPhone images. Um, but once I get over to like the 5D stuff, or the 7D stuff that I imported, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm impressed with it. I think it looks pretty awesome. Um, so, keeping that in mind, all, you know, the in and out points work. And it, I think it does a better job um, than Avid in terms of, like, versus AMA. Um, but I guess this isn't really AMA, you know. It works a little different. The swagger. Really? Yep. So, um, one question that I know people have asked me already this morning is, how do you make your keyboard go back to the way it was? Um, you can't just import your old um, Final Cut Pro keyboard like this. Mine's right here, so it doesn't work. So you have to do it over again, which is sad, but um, it does look like there is um, some more options here, and this does make more sense to me than the uh, last Final Cut Pro way did. Um, and I, so those are kind of like my kind of uh, answers to some quick questions. Um, I'll just be kind of doing some of these on and off throughout the day. Um, I don't know what a lot of this stuff means yet. I think that there's potential for some of it to be pretty cool, um, but you know, some of it is just kind of weird. I'm not really sure how to deal with it yet. Um, so the more and more we look at it, you know, um, looks like this would be the best way to log stuff. Um, send me your uh, videos you've done on, um, you know, what you've you've tried and what you've figured out, and uh, hopefully this won't be too much of a crazy adjustment. Thank goodness we can still use Final Cut 7 if we need to. Uh, this is Bryce Randall with uh, Post Fit Pictures. So thanks for watching. Last you, screen capture, stop.